everybody. So I'm waking up every day and getting tons of requests and questions on how to do fundraisers. And it's kind of a complicated question that people ask me because there are so many different ways that you can do fundraisers and they can be super successful. They can be huge. They can be tiny. There's just, it's a really difficult question to answer. So I thought I'd make a quick little video, give you just some ideas to get you started. Um, let's see. So first of all, I wanted to talk about why would you do a fundraiser? So what would ever make you want to do a fundraiser? So when I do a fundraiser, for example, I just did a really large one. I lose money and it's so much work and I'm constantly at the school picking things up and it's just really, it's, it's a challenge in my life. So why the heck do I do it? Well, I do it for a lot of reasons. Number one is to give back to my community. I love to do fundraisers in my community and I love to write that check for my, all of my commission to give to them. Um, um, it helps me to get my name out there. It helps me to it helps me to give Sensi a good name. It helps me. To, it helps all of the consultants. As long as I do a really good job, then people have a great experience, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, Sensi is such a great company, and they did this fundraiser, and they gave our, and they we made lots of money." Um, it helps me to find recruits and get contacts and add people to my newsletter. Um, get I make sure when I do a fundraiser, the most important thing I get is their email so that they can get my email newsletter. Um, it helps me earn trip points. So. Right Right now, as you know, we're, we're working toward earning a trip and you can get lots of points. If you do a $10,000 PRV fundraiser, that's 10,000 points toward the trip. So it's a lot of work, but it's also can bring lots of blessings to you for many, many, many reasons. So fundraisers. Um, what kind of fundraisers? Like I said, there's so many different ways to do it. So you can do, which is what I just did, the full catalog fundraiser. And this can be, say, for example, for a school. I'm going to do a really big one for you. So what I just personally did for our school is this is, um, I just bought this at Sensi Family Store, and it's the fundraiser packet. I always number them so you can see, where is my finger here? There it is. So you can see this one is number 262 of 270 packets that I handed out for this particular grade. And the one thing that I do do is I give each teacher a blank sheet with numbers for their classroom, for example. So one classroom might have 20 students, so they might have numbers 250 to 270. And I put the, na the student's name, contact phone number, parent's name, and did you collect the sheet? Stuff, just basic stuff like that. Oh, who the teacher is and what team or core they're on. So that I have that information. So hopefully, not all the teachers do it, the teacher will return that to me. So if I get a packet and nobody wrote their name on it, which happens all the time, then I have a way to contact them in case I have no idea who that contact, who that packet belongs to. So what do I put inside of my packet? So in this one, oh, the other thing about these that's great is it's just a double check. So I have all the stuff inside, but then they also, a lot of them will write it on the outside, and I will even write it on the outside so that I have an idea. Then on the back of these, it's great because it gives all kinds of information, one of them being the tax. So we're lucky in the state of Maine, our tax is, is straight across the board, but it's 5.5%. So one thing I didn't put in here is a tax sheet. So if you spend $20, your tax is, and it'll say $1.10 to help people. And I didn't do that, and I probably should have. It would have made it a lot easier because a lot of people got the tax wrong because 5.5% go... You know is kind of difficult to figure out so inside of their packet I just use the showcase brochure and the showcase brochure looks like this and you know it's just a great overview of all of our products there are no um, combine and saves listed I don't offer combine and saves and the reason I do that is so that the school can earn more money or the organization can earn more money now lots of people know about the combine and saves and they put that on their um, order forms and I'm totally fine with that if they call me if they email me if they text me and ask me if they can use a combine and save by all means I definitely allow it, but I just don't advertise it. That way the school can make more money. So they get that. And then um, I would give them, because right now happens to be the fall, the uh, harvest season. So I have this really great friend who made this brochure for me and and uh, she's actually doing the fundraiser with me, so that's why we have this. I would never be able to come up with this on my own, for the record. So it just shows all of the warmers that were that are available for them. And you can also just use one of the harvest brochures that you buy through the Scentsy Family Store. Um, then we do order forms. You can make order forms. Um, you can buy. You can use regular order forms. You can make a one sheet order form. Whatever is easiest for you. The disadvantage to using a one sided 
order form like this is that when you go to deliver, you've got to either photocopy all of these, which is probably what needs to be done, or somehow type them all out or whatever it is that you're going to do, but you've got to give them a copy of their receipt and you need a copy of it in case somebody calls and says, um, I didn't order this, then you have record of exactly what they ordered. So. However you want to do that, you might want to just use in the past, I've used just the Scentsy Family Store for order forms, and I actually cut them in half so that they have two, and so then I keep one and I give them one, so that makes it pretty easy. And then maybe make up some type of flyer. Of course, again, this is um, an amazing flyer that I am not capable of creating, and it's beautiful. And this just gives information about the fundraiser, so this particular one says, Thank you for supporting the eighth grade class. Um, this is for my part of it. Payment is due at the time of ordering. We accept checks, cash, and cards. All checks are payable to the, uh, to the middle school PTO. And that is huge. One thing I've learned in the past is I don't care what the fundraiser is. Well, if it's an individual fundraiser, they can write their checks to me. But any type of larger fundraiser, it goes to the organization, not to me. Then I don't have to deal with... Um, bouncing checks and that kind of thing. And not only for that reason, but I feel like if people are writing a check to the school, then they're less likely to write a bad check. So if they are writing it to some random Sensi consultant, they might not care as much. But um, So that's why I do it. Um, let's see, tax is 5.5%, shipping is free. Our end date is Monday, September 28th. One thing I will warn you is, um, so I have to go to the school. This is what, October... Oh, where's the date on my phone? It's not telling me. So anyway, this is um, this, this fundraiser was due September 28th, and today is October 8th, and I just got a call that there every single day there are more fundraiser forms that need to come in. So be prepared for that, especially with a large fundraiser. So um, when I had it end on that Monday, my plan was for it to really end on Friday, knowing that fundraiser forms would come in. A, a lot came in throughout the week. And then the other thing that we list on here is what the prizes are. And so we do a top prize. You can do whatever you want. I do it different every single time. It depends on the age. It depends on who it's for. It just completely depends. I try to use Scentsy as much as possible. Um, this happens to be a middle school, just 7th and 8th grade. And so I feel like um, they might not be as excited to earn Scentsy products. So what we did was the top winner, I mean the top seller in each grade will get a $25 Walmart gift card, a $25 Dairy Queen gift card, $25 iTunes, and $25 to our local movie theater. So that's $100 in stuff. And yes, it's expensive. I pay for that. And, but it's worth it because I'm giving back to my community and I am really rewarding the child that spent a lot of time and effort and they have to deliver all this stuff too on doing such a great job and I'm thankful to them. And I'm going to recruit them when they turn 18 so I want them to really like me. So um, number two, the second place, the second top seller will earn a large Scentsy warmer in three bars of wax. And the other thing behind that is a lot of times with your younger kids, it's mom who's selling or dad who's selling the fundraiser more than anyone. So they might be excited to get a fundraiser, a uh, Scentsy warmer. And um, the number three top seller will get a night light warmer and three bars of wax. We also did a teacher reward. And I will tell you that halfway through, the fundraiser, I went into the school with a flyer to remind the teachers, okay, remember the, big, the teacher who has the most um, sales in her classroom is going to get a prize for both 7th grade and 8th grade. And this particular prize is going to be a basket full of amazing Scentsy products. So we're going to do, um, like, I can't even remember exactly what we're doing, but like the ca the cl new cleaning products, laundry products, um, wax, whatever. I mean, we'll just, we'll really spoil the teacher because they, it takes a lot of work for the teachers to continuously remind these students to get these packages packets in. And trust me, there are some classrooms where we get one packet and then the classrooms where you're getting 10 plus packets back, you know that that teacher was a vital part of making sure that that fundraiser was successful. So we're very thankful to the teachers who help out in this particular case. So you can do a large fundraiser for anybody. You can do sports teams. You can do anything you want. You can do it this way. You can change it. There are no rules. You, you can do it any way that you wish. And there are lots of other ways that I've done fundraisers. I've done scent circle fundraisers. A lot of people now are doing car bar fundraisers. You can do one plug-in and one bar of wax fundraisers. And just, I would pick like the um, top, say, 10 or 15 cents, like from favorites and then a couple of 
scents, like a Christmas scent and maybe a fall scent. And um, you could do five different plugins. You could do 10 plugins. You could do all the plugins. You can do whatever you want and make up your own little sheet. Um, you could do Velada. For those of you who sell Velada, you could do the rubs. You could do a cheesecake fundraiser. You can do anything you want. And that's what's really cool. Um, one thing that I would do if I were you, because I know there were a lot of people that did car bar fundraisers, I would give Scentsy a call and say, hey, I'm about to do a fundraiser with X number of students, especially if you're doing like, say, hundreds of students. And I'm thinking of doing a car bar fundraiser. And can you just make, can you find out for me if that's okay? Is there a chance that we're going to run out of them, like a really good chance, just to give me an idea of what I'm looking at? So that might be in your best interest, especially with some of the newer products, because you just never know. And it would be awful to do a big fundraiser and have that happen to you. Um, another way that you can do fundraisers is to um, do a booth. So you could go to a school, um, well, uh, anything. You could do a booth anywhere and donate your commission to the school or to the organization or go at the end of a cheering practice when all the parents are there or like a, a night where they're showing off their routine and have a little booth and anything anybody buys, you give your commission. Any way that you want to do it, you could go to the VFW, you could do it anywhere. You can do a, a booth or an event that is a fundraiser. Um, you can do individual fundraisers. I've done these before. Basically, I just do a basket party for someone. And this particular person was going to Sweden, I think, to play hockey. And so they were just raising money to help pay for the expenses to go on this trip to play hockey. And so she just did a basket party and I gave her all of my commission. So that was helpful to her. And they stocked up on their Scentsy needs. Um, another thing that's really cool that I've done is a couple times are custom gift orders. And I've done them two ways. I actually just wrapped one up that's a regular custom gift order. And I had a little sheet here. This one actually says business Scentsy custom gifts. So you can do it for businesses, but you can also do it as a fundraiser. So I just did a business one, which was pretty cool. And I got about a, a, over $2,000 order in these, and remember these, so you can buy these brochures, I believe, at the Scentsy Family Store. There's the business one, and then there's the fundraiser one. But they have a, um, a magnet created that represents any logo that they want that has to be approved by Scentsy. And, you know, there are all kinds of rules with it, but um, they get the warmer, the magnet, one bar, they get a bag and a bow. And so it's really cool. And the person who books the, the does the gifts gets all, like my girl just got $280 in free product and four half price items just for set, hooking me up with somebody to do this or this um, custom gift for a group of people in October that are getting the gift. Um, let's see, what else? On your website, I looked on the website to see what was available. So for fundraisers, this says how to use your new editable fundraiser form. So the good news is there is a new editable fundraiser form that looks like this. So if you want to do scent circles or if you want to do um, plugins or wax or anything, any other than the ordinary buddies, um, buddy clips, um, whatever, um, washing deter or uh, you know the washer whips whatever whatever you want to do they've given you a form that you can edit so and this is the instructions on how to do it you can use this form for those of you like me who aren't very good at creating this stuff I do end up doing it but it takes me a long time to do it um, they even give you a sample letter that says dear fundraising coordinator and it talks about the benefits of doing a Scentsy um, fundraiser. And that's right on your workstation. So just sign into your workstation, click on resources, and then just do a search for fundraising and you'll get all of these things. And then there's a second sheet to that one. So all kinds of ways to do fundraisers. Um, a couple of tips, like I said, I'd have the checks made out to the organization, not to you. Always offer prizes. I think that prizes make the kids work hard. I did an elementary school one um, a couple years ago, and I gave every student who sold $250 a free buddy. And let me tell you, they loved that. That was super fun. Um, I've given cash prizes. I've given, like, I did $100 to iTunes two years ago for an organization, for a school. And I think iTunes has gotten a little bit less popular, so that's why we broke it up this year, and we did four different $25 ones. Um, Oh, if they're tax free. So most PTAs, what I understand, are not tax free. So, but a school can be. So if it's through the PTA, you probably can't get it tax free, but it's through the school, you might be able to. But there you definitely have rules that you have to follow. So contact Sensi and find out what the what what way they want you to do it because there's it change it's always changing. So who knows when you'll watch this video. So just make sure that you understand what the rules are. Um, one thing that I always do that's really cool. So I always put a coupon with my fund 
fundraisers back into the bag and when I'm delivering the fundraisers and I say if you book a Scentsy party with me within the next say 30 days then I will give 10% more of your party back to that organization as well so if you're booking it from the middle school fundraiser I'm gonna give another I'm gonna give 10% from your party also to the to the middle school so that's kind of cool because then people are more likely to book a um, party with you um, Let's see. Label everything. You guys know that. Make sure when you do a fundraiser that you've already placed your order for labels and that, or you're already starting to print them out so that they're up and ready to go as soon as your order comes in. Make sure you figure out bags. So that's been, that's another thing. They usually send you one bag per warmer. So if you have tons of people buying wax or scent circles or anything, when I did a scent circle fundraiser, I just went to um, Office Max and I bought whatever size envelope you think will work, depending on how much each child sent. I could just use the legal size, put it inside, write their name on the outside, sealed it up for those who sold five or six or seven cent circles. The bigger ones, I use manila envelopes, so whatever. But just be aware that, especially if you're doing bars and that kind of thing, you might not have enough bags, so you've gotta be prepared for that. So like I said, fundraisers can be expensive, but they really are truly worth it. Um, when you're talking to somebody about doing a fundraiser, you need to really help, they need to know why they should choose you. So why should I do a Scentsy fundraiser when Yankee Candle is gonna give me 50% and you're only gonna give me 25%? So what's your answer to that? Well, with Scentsy, we give 100% of our commission. Yankee Candle might mark it up and then give, mark the price of the candle up so you can go into the store and buy the same thing for a lot less. And if you buy it from the fundraiser, they mark it up so that you can they give you more money, if that makes sense. Where with Scentsy, we don't mark it up. They're still gonna buy from you because it's still the same deal as it would be at a party and you're giving your commission. So and when once you help them realize how much work you do for them. The other thing is um, like my daughter's school's doing a fundraiser and they're begging people to come in and help add and this and that. And I do all of that for the organization. They do nothing except I uh, the money exchange. They take the money and I even add it all up and give them the money and I organize it by, you know, and I add everything and double check it and triple check it and organize it so that they can add it and double and triple check it too. Um, but I do all the work. I put them all together. I do all the labeling. I do all the bagging. I make sure that when I deliver it to the school it's going to be each student's gonna have their own amount of uh, their own bags together with the classroom so it's real easy that one classroom can come get all their stuff and go back it's a lot of work but they appreciate how much work I put into it because if you've ever seen the way some of the other organizations do it, it can be pretty time-consuming and um, put a lot of people out so in this case I do all of the work so I wish I could ask questions, ask four questions, but I think I've hopefully given you a pretty good start. So like I said, the how do I do a fundraiser question is a pretty loaded question. There are so many ways to do it. If you check the files, there are oftentimes people will upload all kinds of different, on our Facebook pages, they will post all kinds of different files. You can Google search. Sensi fundraiser and see what you come up with. Um, there's tons and tons of ideas out there. So I hope this was helpful to you. I'm sorry that this is so long. I try not to make super long videos like this, but have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.